In this video we will discuss about the Histon inscription, which is equivalent to the Rosetta Stone, and which became the key to deciphering the cuneiform scripting. Before we start first we should know a little bit about clay tablets. As its name suggests, that clay tablets are rectangular clay objects, on which with the help of stylish certain symbols were inscribed, which were the medium of communication in ancient times. The symbols were made of cuneiform script. Till now millions of clay tablets have been found in ancient Mesopotamia region, and all were written in ancient cuneiform script. Today we know a lot of things about an ancient Mesopotamian culture, by reading and analyzing these clay tablets. Very interestingly, some tablets talk about customer complaints, which probably the first ever customer complaint of human history. And some tablets talk about the visa process in ancient Mesopotamia. These clay tablets are such a great archive of very interesting human history and culture. But do you know how cuneiform script first deciphered? How much effort did it take? And most importantly how it could have been possible? The answer is Behistun inscription, which is also known as Persian Rosetta Stone, which was the key to deciphering of cuneiform script. It was found between the city of Baghdad and Persian capital of Tehran at a distance of about 65 miles from city Hamadan. It is a multilingual inscription established by the King Darius the Great in 522 BC to 486 BC. It includes three versions of the same text, written in three different cuneiform script languages, which is Old Persian, Elamite, and Babylonian. This inscription represents King Darius, accompanied by two of his officers, receiving the submission of the leaders of rebellions against his authority, King Darius stands with his left foot planted on the body of the Pseudosmerdis, Gamata the Magian, King Darius the Great. In front of him stand nine rebel leaders roped together by their necks, and having their hands bound behind their back. Following are the names of the rebellion kings. How did Behistun inscription help in deciphering cuneiform scripting? This sculptured panel are five columns of cuneiform text in the Old Persian language, which records the suppression of the revolts. On the left of the Persian inscription are three columns of cuneiform text, written in the Elamite character and language, and containing a translation of the first four columns of the Persian text, on two faces of an overhanging rock, above, the Elamite version, and to the left of the sculptures, is a single column of cuneiform text, written in the Babylonian character and language, containing a translation of the first four columns of the Persian text. So here, four columns which are written in the old Persian script as the key. As Elamite and Babylonian cuneiform text as the copy of Persian text, once the Persian text is a decipher, it is easy to decipher the other two. This is the text from three different columns in three different scripts. Translation of common text is same for three scripts. And this is the key to deciphering the cuneiform script. This is example of one of the common text found in this inscription. I am Darius, the great king the king of kings, the king of Persia, the king of the provinces, the son of Hystaspes, the grandson of Arsames, the Achaemenian. These are the few inscriptions regarding the rebellion kings, which are written on the rock tells about their committed crime. This is Gamada, the Magian, who lied, saying, I am Smerdis, the son of Cyrus. 
This is Ashina, who lied, saying, I am the king of Elam. This is Nadintu Bel, who lied, saying, I am Nebuchadnezzar, the son of Nabonidus. This is Freortes, who lied, saying, I am Shathrita, of the race of Syaxers. This is Mardia, who lied, saying, I am Umanish, king of Elam.